death is close. <laughs> the Madman at the Dark Moon Fair. Tool time, and this time with a warrior. No guts, no glory. Good anti aggro. Hopefully, we actually run into aggro, maybe, with one health minions, auto armaments. So, here's the list a lot of card draw, a lot of removal. And the early game plan is just to draw as fast to Cthulhu and then play it. It's very similar to the Warlocks game plan. And hopefully with all this card draw, we can match the Warlocks to getting to that Cthulhu. And our first match is exactly going to be a card drawing contest. Keep the Sword Eater, play that on four, build the three health thing. Who will draw their Cthulhu first? The game. It is a competition to see who draws their cards the fastest. Okay. Decent opening. That is actually my preferred minion that I killed. That's good. Wait, Law Order? Law Order. Wait, no, no. Yeah, Law Order. The Warlocks are going to have a head start in drawing the cards, but I get my big card draws uh, in a bundle later. Hey, egg, do something! And killing that involves not playing the egg. Not activating the egg. That's fine. It's fine. It's not just a race on drawing the Cthulhu cards, it's also uh, playing them, I suppose, to some extent. The body is the best one. Draw, draw, draw! Only one minion left in the deck. Which might be good with auto armaments, I can like, fetch it, perhaps. They have the execute for the kill knocks. He's going to heal for 10, so no point in doing any damage. 
Sustenance. Then we just chill. He's veening the race! Someone slow this guy down. Getting low on cards. I need to cast... Oh no. He's going to cast the Cthune card next turn, then he's going to win the next turn. His last Cthune card is the... Kill a guy card. Oh! If there are no guys to kill! The goal is to like be one step ahead. There, There is a chance that he doesn't have a minion he can play and kill. Which means I get the first Cthune cast off. I have it guaranteed. Oh my god, I win! I win! I win, not you win! I'm a genius! Yes, yes! That's the card I needed. Oh, wait, I have a 50-50 at winning. Oh, that's better than I was having before. If he plays Killmox, then he can't play Cthulhu next turn, so that's also good for me. Game one, unbelievable. All right, pillage. That's good. Alternate win condition. Just hit him a lot. It's gotta be pillage. Uh, execute revenge slam. Two of those cards are in this deck: coerce, fiery war axe, steward. Meh. And left bucket is mildly interesting. Yeah, slam. Execute. Yeah. Uh -huh. Keep minefield in case it's an aggro core. Hmm, nah. I trust in my deck to survive enough even without minefield. And most of the time they're not aggro. I was about to say most of the opponents do not have uh, Cthulhu in their deck, but... Okay. Already learning from my Cthulhu school of thought, I see. Are you just copying me? That's mana efficient, I suppose. Strike. Oh. I was like, Death Spite will kill it next turn also. I suppose I don't have to this way. Could just not kill it. That might be better. Save a resource. Play Heart of Cthulhu next turn, perhaps. Hmm. Well, this will seem inconsistent, but I didn't have that card last turn. Also, Yes, I did forget that I have Pillage of the Fallen. Pillage the Fallen.
We should just be swinging. Oh. Uh, not that many cards. Can't play Panthera unless I hero power that. So I should hero power that. It's just like the last game, it's a race to see who can draw Cthulhu. But, possibly, I might be able to get above 30 health for a reverse out. Hmm, probably not though. I wonder if I should have slammed. Yeah, I don't really need to have worry about that. Um, I should have slammed instead of the uh... instead of the minefield there. Hero power five, three, two. Actually, going above thirty. Okay, he's only played one Cthulhu card. <sighs> the next turn, I'll be able to draw two cards with Battle Rage instead of one. That's probably better. this card out. It's pretty meaningless. so much worse than he did. No! Bottom two, the nightmare! Oh my god. Next turn, it's Yogg. I mean, it's Cthulhu. Can I stay above? Maybe. This is 6 health. I actually would have loved to have that have 1 health left. Okay, 27, 33 health. It's possible his deck has no uh, direct damage left in it. Come on. 
Yes! Nothing left! Oh! Woo! Well, that was two really close Cthulhu games back to back. Oh, man. Okay, Grim Patron's actually pretty good. Um, yeah, I'll take that. Alright, well, uh, let's have another fun race. To Cthulhu and beyond. Mmm, cannibalism. Scary. Two, three, four, seven health on the board. Yeah, okay. Mm, cool. Cthulhu in here. Blood Razor to... I could put on pressure, maybe. I don't actually want to use Shield Block, because someday... Someday I would like to... Battle Rage and draw a card. And you putting it in 3 health and 2 health range would present danger. Hmm. At the face, I have Cthulhu. On average, one will die if it doesn't. I have hero power to finish it up. I prefer one doesn't die. The odds were against one not dying, but there was a chance. This is actually pressure. Oh, got the kill marks. That's fine. I distracted him. That's important. Auto armaments, uh, ravaging hero power. Right? Something like that. Okay, that does not actually work. It's important to remember that. hard remove that is execute um basically execute maul and 
Um, An amusing mistake. Brawl. I wonder if it's better to uh, hit this first and then play Sword Eater. Oh. I took one extra. Right, cannibalism. Um, didn't, let's see. I actually don't know. Oh! Revenge activated. Five head. Five head? No, that's actually bad, because Grim Patron doesn't want to take three damage. So there are a few concerns right now. Oh, I didn't play kill mox. That's good for me. He probably thinks I have a hard kill. Yeah, revenge actually works really well here. Keep remembering what's important. It's a race to uh, play all the Cthune pieces. He has two Cthune pieces left. One Cthune piece left. And he has three soul fragments in his deck, which means we're on the same amount of cards left. It's really good. Um, which one do I play first? Probably the one that matters. No, not necessarily. I'd bait him into playing Killmox and then I'd have to answer it. No, I should play it and then, because I have the time to answer it now. The key is to not play the sh- No, I should play the shield block. I can't play the shield block. I need to- I could play the shield block. I want my deck to have no cards in it. Yeah, I should definitely play the shield block. Right, set it up to be a 100% Cthune draw. If he plays Killmox, I have a... answer. Alright, he's the first to put Cthune in the deck. But... Oh, is it 100% is it for him? Uh, I think it might be. There's a lot of soul fragments in there. Three cards in the deck. It it was not a hundred percent, but it's pr pretty likely. Please? Let me win three Cthune Wars in a row? This one would be the one where I'm unfavored to win for once. Okay, that's a good sign, but I still lose. I guess this time around, he's the one who wins for sure. So I have some clever way to escape here. Oh, Grim Patron saves! I hadn't realized that. That's awesome! Does that save? <laughs> that was good. I've had so many technical wins on uh, Cthune v Cthune now. Oh my yog. 
Wait. Wait, do I still lose? Ah! I win! I win! This is amazing! Uh, I think it's Loyal Henchman here, yeah? Okay, Brawl Warpath Blood to Icker. Nice, uh, control. Why does this clobber him? I don't know. Clobber, the minions! Okay, so definitely keep Sword Eater. Ooh, auto armaments. I have a real question. Can you mulligan into Loyal Henchman? I don't know if I've ever done it. If you do mulligan into it, it's like drawing patches. You can? Uh, womp womp. Mm. I might get that. That's kind of a hard play. Actually true, because, you know, I can hear a parrot. I believe I shouldn't play auto armaments on four because of silence. On three, rather. I should play it with a hero power at the very least. Uh, do I just play the henchman on two here? I mean, it's either play it or pass. I guess I'll pass. You might look at it and be like, lol, it's a treasure, that's 2 mana 2-2, two, two, but it was free! It's an extra card for free! Unironically, that might actually be a good play, therefore. I do think I'm just going to play this armaments on 4, and be kind of sad when he silences it. Looks better than it is. I don't have any weapon buffing. Nah, still good. Burning. Well, enough mana to execute anything. Which I should do pretty liberally against the Demon Hunter. Surprise! There are no minions. Not too big a surprise. Oh, what a great draw. You can't actually get the Bulwark because it's not in the uh, pool of cards you can put into this deck. I only got one card left. I think they might be out of ways to get rid of Taunt, at least. I think I should start putting up Taunts. It's very tempting to go Grim Patron Hero Power here, but... Might be better to just place a Taunt while he only has one card in hand. Or, alternatively, I should play it last. I'll just Patron. Silence he can't spend on the taunt. Uh, 
That's why you tend to want to play the taunt last. They use all the resources, and then you throw the taunt at them. I really want to gain one health here, so I have to kill something. Is there anything I can reasonably kill? Oh, that patron. Yeah, yeah, that patron. In some ways, this is worse than the normal hero power for the war here. At some times. Usually it's better. But sometimes it's worse. Ah, yes, Taunt is cheating. Excellent. Right side not bad, as Acolyte of Pain. Hey, this is actually a decent bucket. Berserker was almost in the original card pool. Mad Bomber is uh, not great, but is not bad. Loyal Henchman! Get out of here. So I want to keep Acolyte of Pain in my opening hand. It's pretty good. It is possible to get a big... No, it's not really possible to get a big armor smith in this, uh... With my current deck. I'll just play it out. Mad Bomber gets three hits. That's... dumb. I think I want to try to play the Bomber on the same turn as the Acolyte. But I also want a Hero Power on that turn, so never mind. I'll just Acolyte Hero Power. Demon Hunter's taking their time. If I miss, Henchman. To pick up the slack. That's bad. I, got this. I think I've done the calculation on it, and I'm actually 33%-ish to even kill that thing. I think. Um, the chances of not hitting that thing a single time, it's what, just... Uh, 60... It's whatever 66, 66, and 66 are. Let the pain speak to me. Oh well. Unlucky. I'm not bitter or anything. Get in there, buddy. This you cheater. I am looking for a weapon. Also trying to get the armor whenever I can. I fear that the opponent's an infinite combo deck though, so I'm really on a clock. I need to get to this uh, Cthulhu combo as soon as possible. I do have three pieces of Cthulhu in my hand, which is quite good. I might be able to get away with not drawing out the whole deck this game. Maybe I'll get a lucky Cthulhu piece together. Do you see what must be done? Okay. 
Okay, this has very good chances of success. I just need one and one. I see weakness. Huh. I did too well. I'm just picking up that armor whenever possible. Pick up the scraps. Where's my weapon? Ah, there it is. Okay, I have a draw two with the Sword Eater, but I really want to draw more than that. Oh, he's got the gift. Okay, so that's just 10 damage each turn. Oh my yog. This is like the least unfair casting of it, and it's still Pyroblast. What? Oh, that was pretty good. Okay, on the bright side, he could definitely get weighed down by the card that he just drew. That looks good. That's that's good. That's real good. Wow, he got screwed. Oh, pirate buff. Oh wow, this battle rage. Oh wow, this battle rage. Wait, <laughs> lethal. Wow, thank you, chat. <laughs> you know there's a program out there which displays how much damage you have on the board, and then like, I think it flashes when you have lethal or something? I wonder if I should get it. Uh, double Time is good with Execute and Battle Rage and Minefield and Revenge and Slam and Warpath and Shield Block and Cutting Class. I think I should ca I think I should pick Double Time. Uh, draw! Huh. The goal of the deck is still to draw the whole deck and then play Cthulhu. But that kind of draw isn't very good. This bucket isn't bad. It's right. Left. I'm invincible now! My attack value is zero! Cannibalism from the swamp. Ooh, spooky. That is the nuts combo treasure. But maybe mine is better? I have a lot of ways to deal with one damage. And by a lot of ways, I mean I have Blood Razor on my hero power. Hmm. 
<laughs> in truth, I actually forgot about the second cast, and I would have rooted for it to go on the left. So Blood to Icker is going to have a 50-50 chance at hitting the right thing again. Uh, Slam always kills it, but I think Blood to Icker, like, if I actually hit it twice, would be really, really good. And if I only hit it once, it's not the end of the world. Or is it the end of the world? Alright, 50-50, go! Go! Yes! The second target is random. I will enjoy watching. Oh, wow. Felguard? I'm almost like, thank you for playing Felguard. I forgot he was going to get a zombie. I probably should have killed it. Even though I have a lot of different ways to deal one damage, I still should have killed it. Actually, if I don't kill it, I can gain two armor. He discarded his treasure, you madman! Wait, you picked that treasure when you're running a Cthune deck? You are truly mad. If I slam, I draw two cards. It was actually kind of tempting. Alright, so he trashed all his big demons. But he's never discarded Killmock, so... Did he really draw Killmox? Did he get unlucky enough that he didn't get offered Killmox and then he played Philosophy? I'm kind of counting on that being exactly what happened. I'm like, it doesn't even matter that I miss damage. He just kill moxes it all away. Despair, etc. Uh, let's see, is there any better card to Bloodsworn Brute? This is actually a pretty good card. I had not originally thought I was going to do this. That was a good play. Four health is a good spot against Warlock. Another uh, kill mox in the hand. Let's see. Poke, hero power, poke, slam. Yeah, yeah, that's the way to do it. Alright, I give up on dealing damage to you as the win condition. Wait. Eh. Wait, this was terrible. All right, got lucky. Didn't get punished. Did I forget to attack with the sword? I did. It doesn't really matter, he has kill knocks. Okay, then that's actually a good idea, to not attack with the sword. I needed to slam before using the hero power, because if I missed, then... I needed to play the ghoul and then hero power the uh, kill mox again. Missed two healing. Oh well. I 
probably should not be burning so many of my deal one to everything abilities. No, it's probably fine. No, it's probably not fine. Anyways, I need to get drawing here. Uh, I'm ahead of him. No, he has a lot of soul fragments. Soul fragments in the back. to draw. Uh, if I downgrade my weapon right now... Uh, let's just do this. Yeah, yeah. Wait. I need to make sure I don't overdraw. I guess I should play both of these. Did I do that order bad? I missed like an armor. I missed like two armor. I missed like three armor. Whatever. Wait, that actually might matter. Got through a lot of cards there. That's really good. I need to deal a total of s s five damage. Three. Five, seven, nine. That's four war paths. So I'll miss the last one. But that's okay. I can kill one of the imps. Yeah, this is fine. Let the pain speak to me. I hope I did the math right. Ah, oh, too late now. No, I guess it's not too late. I could play revenge if I wanted to. To get rid uh, I think I'm better. Okay, it was correct. That's really good. Hmm. I need these for kill moxes. Yeah, let's just hit.
Okay, I am out of Cthulhu range, and there's not a lot of burst in that deck. Pretty fast. The good Lord Baroff gets me a uh, two armor, and I don't think that we're at the range where uh, basically I don't lose to that. Oh, that will draw me four cards. Oh, wait a second, too much. If I'm okay with not gaining armor, this is fine. I think I'm okay with that. Seems unlikely to die. Lord Barov was also an option. I think Brawl is better. Uh, I have an Execute. He's like, that's fine. Yeah, I guess that means I wasted it. I could have played Minefield on this. It would have been bad if he had exactly another, like, big board. Oh, I'm about to get punished. Wow. I did not anticipate that. God, if he has one removal. Oh no. Wait, could I play Blood Boil Roots somewhere in there? Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. Oh no! The throw! Oh, the throw! I missed two heals and three armor also. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. I'm sure the opponent feels good for uh, winning while Cthulhu is complete. That always feels really good. This deck is so good it should get to 12 wins so every loss hurts so much because it's uh it's the buffer that could have gotten me into 12 wins oh well if i get to 12 wins it won't matter but then i'll miss out the achievement for going 12 and 0 alas oh Okay, so far this is a really bad play. Ooh, that's... I don't know about that, still. 
Anyways, uh, I have to hope for the 50-50 here. It is 50-50 again. Come on. Come on. Yee. Yee. <laughs> I mean, the treasure is down. He has few cards in hand. We got this one. Yeah. I see the four into the five. Oh, of course you have it. That's fine. You're out of gas soon, hopefully. <laughs> My treasure. My treasure. Hands pretty bad here. Oh, double cast! Oh, <laughs> eat it! <laughs> Here. Trade! Trade! Order! Six damage into armor smith! I'm like so concerned with drawing cards, but it's not actually that big a concern. Yeah, I should just get some stuff out there. Oh, actually better. If I play this first and then slam, I get to draw a card. Actually, even better. This getting slammed is way better. Was busted. But you all knew that. You have all minions in your deck plus two attack. Return this to your hand. That's super dumb. Uh, Grimmer Patron. It's not really that useful. And I'd rather have no more. What a classic hand. Alright, we have 40 health now. It's impossible to get aggro down. Oh, 
Haven't seen that one yet, to be honest. So I want to kill two of those. Nah. Take them off one at a time. Easy. Bloodraiser is just around the corner. I'm totally playing that on four. It's fine. So it's a four damage call here that I've chosen to take. I could have played one mana gain four. But we're saving the blood to Ikwer for a better moment. Blood to Icar? If it lands here and then lands there, that would be perfect. If it lands here and then lands there, that's the worst. Lands here and then lands here again, I kill the stuff still. I think this is the moment. And it could go here. That's... that's okay. That's the outcome I said was best, and I said it was okay. That's true. It's funny because it's true. Demon Hunter. I'm afraid doing that much damage is illegal. Okay, if I just revenge, that's already filling up the board. Yeah, and then I can gain armor. That's good. It's a good thing I'm not at 12. Enjoyed bathing in those green pools. Ho 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 ho. <laughs> okay, 22 damage. Thanks, Tracker. Uh, I definitely want to gain armor, huh? I should try to go for a taunt. So, yeah, let's just do this. That's not worth playing. Don't you dare, Demon Hunter! Don't you dare! Ah, finally there's some justice in this world.
Not even close. The extra five health you gain was really useful. Uh, draw the weapon guaranteed? No. More patron. <laughs> Mage! <laughs> oh. oh, Mage. All right, let's see what you got, Mage. Fire Shaper, Book of Wonders. Hmm. Right, do you run Cthulhu in your deck? Yes. Nice play. I pass. Nice, I took one damage. That's actually quite good for the battle rage. Thank you. It's the same animation as Flame Waker. That's cute. Okay, I'll only draw one card, which is cool because I have too many cards in my hand. That's eh, fine. All right. I normally would play auto armaments here, but the mirror entity is very spooky. I think, um, yeah, I won't swing. <laughs> you play to me! The only turn in the game where I don't swing. Classic. A guy can dream. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> we are so unlucky! <laughs> it's like a whack-a-mole machine. Well, worked that time. Hmm. It actually seemed like he was having real difficulty removing that, so this seems good. Oh, oops. 
try hard. I'll give you that. This time I forgot. Be a little bit of combustion, something else. Combustion, nice. Again, though, I actually need to get rid of cards. It's not a competition. I'm too good. Kind of tough. I have too many cards in my hand to. Like, try to hit this thing again. I need to waste some cards so I can play my Acolytes. Hmm. Well, the Acolytes have a maximum draw of three at least, so that's fine. I just need to make sure I leave enough. Yeah, that'll work. Let the pain speak to me. I will break your body. Every single time my spell casts another time, I'm actually still surprised. Is that lethal? Yes. This is actually very helpful. It didn't even matter which order I did that in. Okay, uh, I'm 7, right? So that's 4 mana, 9-9 nine, nine taunt. Good card. Gain the death rattles of 3 random minions in your deck. That's terrible. I'll take Loyal Psychic. Alright, silly demon hunter. Your tempo deck is... Uh-oh. Do I lose? Do people just automatically lose to double timing Demon Hunter? Hmm. No, surely not an auto loss. We got plenty of game to play here. How are you gonna get through 40 health, you fool? Got my double shield block coming on. Got my egg. It's over for you, Stalina. Ah, my, my monologue worked. Oh, I see. 
I wonder if that was a uh, fake rope by him. No, probably not. Too conspirat- Too conspiratorial? Losing an early turn is probably real bad. But the theory behind fake rope is if he had nothing to play. Okay, cutting class draws me four cards for two mana. Good deal. I guess I should play this though. Because first, you want to play the cards that draw you an uncertain amount of cards. Or cards that'll get too clunky in your hand if you have too many cards in your hand. Something like that. Classic. Oh, you hit your fifty fifty. But ho ho ho, you can only get through so many silences. And then I drop the loyal henchman. And then it's over for you. If I get a really good 3-drop, can I get a really good 3-drop? Yes, I can, the healing one. I'll, I'll fish for um, a good weapon, and if I don't get it, I'll just replace it. This is a lot of damage. It's a uh, 14. Oh, that's really good. Double cost. I will break your body. All right, this demon hunter got bullied real good. double cast in the middle. I got my uh, 6 plus 14 is 20. Pow, 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 pow. Treasures in the hand. That's a good sign. Double time. Forces. Double time. I'm feeling pretty good about this matchup. For, wait, did he just pass? What hand passes there? What are you doing? Yeah, I mean, I guess that looks good. Guess I'll coin out my 
guy that just kills you. That seems pretty sweet. Play on curve. Wait, that's... No, nah, no, nah, this is way better. Looks like your gambit didn't pay off, buddy. Oh. 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 Oh? Hmm. Killmox. How big is Killmox? I think I saw it flash as a 9-9. Nine, nine. I don't know why this is a 3-3. Three, three. Really okay, I just need to make sure I'm not auto-drawing. <laughs> Over-drawing with auto-armaments. 13-13? But I wouldn't mind him playing it because I have the uh, Hyper Blaster. Six cards in hand, seven cards in hand. That's fine. I don't think he can do any big shenanigans here. I think I should pressure him into playing it. Play your kill, Mox, into my Hyper Blaster. Do it! Do it now! Oh. Oh, okay. It's alright, I counter your treasure. With my heart of Cthulhu. Wait, you countered my treasure with your treasure. Oh, well, I guess you're already ahead. It's gonna be the good old blood taker. Will 50 50 kill this thing? Um, but then I have the other blood taker to finish it. Huh. This is a very strange use of, uh, Wicked Whispers. Do you understand it's not random? Do you know? I just need to start getting rid of the cards in my hand. This guy's a really fast player. I'm like trying to cast my mind into him, and I see him bouncing up and down on a ball. He's like, oh boy, oh boy, play, play, play. My perfect trace. Yeah, that's fine. Hmm, would hate to overdraw. I think I just pass here. It's pretty hard for the Warlock to deal one and then one. 
And even if they do, it's pretty hard for him to overdraw something important. Cards in hand, slam, slam. Could go up to 10, which is fine. Could not, which is also fine. Cool. Guess it's time to start using up the weapon. Eh, whatever. Got draw 4 in hand. Kill Mox doesn't matter, it just means he has a Reno Jackson, which I have to hard kill. And he'll probably get multiples of them, and that's fine, I'll just have to save multiple kills. Lord Barov is pretty useless since I can't kill that other thing. Can't kill the big one. Minefield deals a... Uh, deals 10. A lot of damage. I guess I'm... I'm willing to just minefield or uh, just slam for one. That's fine, I suppose. Hmm. Believe it or not, that's unlucky for me. Because it means I couldn't play Blood Boil Brute. I think I just play this to get it out of my hand. Even though it's a downgrade. I need to clear out this hand so that I can actually draw forth cutting class. Pretty challenging. Clear out, clear out. This opponent has been playing a lot of those cards that want to be discarded. It's very interesting. I think we're just racing to Cthulhu, but I don't think he wins by getting Cthulhu. Hmm. What is he trying to do? Truth be told. hand so that I can get to my Cthulhu. I, see. I don't think there's really much of a plan there other than quickly get to Cthulhu. Is my read? I mean, I guess that is his only way to win anyways. Though it's not a bad play. Okay, can I finally draw four? Yes, I can finally do it. It feels good to actually be on the side, uh, which is favored from a long game. Or rather, not favored, I'm the one with inevitability here. I am the one who will eventually win.
I have the lead. Wait, that's not true. You have a bunch of soul fragments in there. Wait, you're actually ahead. It's actually very close, but the thing is, I'll actually win when I get to my casino, whereas he will not. Maybe the reason why he's just playing fast is because he knows he can't win, and he thinks this entire thing is a waste of time. In which case, very smart? basically two ways to win. I can either wait it out, or I can uh, speed up to Cthune myself. And I think speeding up to Cthune myself is, uh, you know, is the more secure way to win, in case there's something that I have missed on his side. And there totally could be something I have missed, but I think across all treasures... Did he not get... Oh. Or... Hmm. No, he didn't get a... because... the bag cast toys. Although, it's hard to say if that was a misplay, or if it was intentional misplay. So, here's actually the goal. He wants to play Killmox to full heal. If I set him down to 18... That's the magic spot. Hmm. I see them all double cast, but then if there's a pit lord left, that's not great. I th think Brawl's right, and then I just ignore the last guy. Or if the last guy is that, that would be really good. Um, and if it's something else, I guess I'll lord. Yeah, in the unlucky situation, that's the big thing that Lord Barov removes. Fine. Feels bad. Opponent's really close to dying. I'm sure he knows because he cast Eye of Kasun. Okay, this is where I warpath. Oh, from Patron first. Wait, that seems good. Uh, it'll deal three total damage to the that one over there. Okay, I guess I'll throw the inner rage on him. Yeah, that's fine. I don't have to take the damage. Friendling's Rifle, very nice. Hmm. Oh, the double cast philosophy. Wait, he didn't cast Killmox. Does he lose?
Wait, did he just... No. If I'd gotten a four attack weapon, I'd have won. But I suppose he knows that? Maybe? Okay, I know he has three kill mocks. I have three kills for three kill mocks. I don't have to kill the 6-6. Six, six. I do have multiple paths to victory. I guess this is fine. Fortunately for me, I have prepared for such an occasion. I suppose. I think I have no way to avoid the inevitable life stealing if I want to play Cthune. I think that's fine. I have three things for three Cthunes. It's not fine, actually. I think. Three kill mocks, three full heals, which is totally cool. Let's see, does that destroy enemy minions? It does not. Oh, Tukurus! Am I just way over prepared right now? Wait, I, oh yeah, that's just armor. That's fine. Can't execute my own guy. Are you actually learning? He just has a Cthulhu. That's unplayable. I don't know why I'm thinking so hard. It's because I'm a very thorough person. <laughs> it's like, it's Cthulhu! <laughs> why haven't you given up? He's like, what are you doing? You know it's Cthulhu! <laughs> Wait, I need to play- oh. Yeah, if I ever- okay, whatever. He's like, end this! <laughs> My hand is caught down! <laughs> but I'm like, wait, but what if you have another kill max? <laughs> Are you actually learning? It's because they would usually concede. It's like, what if I'm wrong? What if it's actually another kill box? Did he actually play all the ticketuses? Okay. Archmage Staff, or Bag of Stuffing. 
The goal of this deck is to draw as fast as possible, generally. Because you have the weapons to make sure that they're in range of Cthune. So Bag of Stuffing is very good. Uh, you can say I already have a lot of card draw, but I think more card draw is good. I probably should also toss Akala. It's two of the same card. I probably should make sure I'm surviving the early game first. Okay, that's a surprising treasure for this, uh... Blade of Warlock. Elixir plus From the Swamp. Interesting. Of course, the uh, elixir isn't very good with Killmox, but it doesn't matter that much, I think, because most of the time you just hit once with Killmox and you're happy. And with the swamp thing, you'll have a bunch of one ones which might actually evolve into scary stuff. Hey, it's cool. I'd be astounded if that was his play. Oh wow, that is your play. Am I astounded? Okay, maybe not. Hmm. Very tame opening. Could battle rage and just draw two cards. Might be good because is there any way that I ever need that many cards? Hmm. Womp womp. No, but then again, I can't hold that many cards right now because I need my auto armaments to draw the cards. Hmm. Oh. Tempo Tempo. That would be the cue for Lord Barov. <laughs> Goodbye, Zombo. Barov, with his dying breath, is like, no zombies on my watch. That was very flavorful. I think he's playing fast on tempo because I have this clock on him. The weapon just keeps doing four damage. My my double treasure is very, very good. I should remember, I'm the king. I'm the king. Eh, this would be the time. I'll decide whether or not I want to take another draw at it. In a sec. Yeah, I think I would rather not. If he spends two cards to deal two damage to this, then that's fine. I missed two armor. Yes, that's true. Play this first before I slam, because otherwise, this slam could maximum draw three cards. Oh, wow. It drew the max. A little scary. 
It's a bomb waiting to go off. I think I'll uh, play around Devolve, Defile. Oh, whoa, 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 forgot about that. Ah, too dark! Whatever. <laughs> A random thing spawning in the last second. Alright, so if he deals any damage to my uh, chest, I'll overdraw a card. I'm playing these cards as fast as I can. Well, that's not true. <laughs> that is patently false. to draw a bunch more cards with the at whoa uh. Uh. oh so close all right so there goes plan a um oh no what's plan b plan b is just to hit him with the weapon until he does that's fine so now I am trying to not draw cards. I feel like brawling here is kind of a waste. I should also have shield blocked first. That kind of sucks. Also missed two health. You just kind of assume the 8-8 will die, but it doesn't always die. Also, why did I attack first? Oh, why did I clear? That's right. The brawl was actually good. Oh no. Oh no, I threw! How do we get two of those? Stupid ticketus. Take us, you baka. This card philosophy, holy cow. That's a good card. I am far enough behind on cards that I actually should draw cards. <laughs> I changed my mind. I should not play the Brute while I have this much of a lead. I should play Battle Rage, but this is better. Maybe I don't play them? Hmm. Feeling very wishy-washy right now. Wish-wash. I'll play the Battle Rage next turn. I think I want to draw a lot of cards with it.
Wish, wash, wish, wash. Now, I changed my mind again. I don't want to draw any cards of Battle Ridge. We need enough time to, uh... Hmm... It's complicated. Also, apparently I have 17 plus 4... Oh yeah, I definitely have lethal. Okay, anyways, it got a lot easier because he didn't draw a kill mox. But if he did draw a kill mox, it would have been harder. Also, it got harder because he taken his mind fifteen. But obviously it's not left. That beastly beauty barely does anything. Golden Cobalt. Someday it'll save me. Praise! Praise Yogg! Missed out on the chance to have huge grim patron boards. Eh. Worth. Okay. Sword Eater in a cutting class equals lots of cards. Blood to Acre equals I don't die early. Hyper Blaster in case something horrible happens. That seems okay. First spell, one less. Dis of Legend. Legend Warlock, huh. Out of time. I have definitely forgotten what Zavis does. That's pretty good. Oh, that's gonna be a pretty monstrous. Good thing I have Hyper Blaster. Oh yeah, when you can choose to discard Zavis, that's kind of insane. I've actually never seen a Zavis. This card, Loyal Henchman. You're so mean! <laughs> oh my god, how good is your hand? Oh, I, I forgot that the coin is two mana. I'm... No, I, I didn't forget. <laughs> I knew I would have to play this Hyper Blaster early. I'm so smart. You see, that's why I didn't play the Sword Eater. You are not the boss of me. It would have sounded a lot, it would have been a lot cooler if I had led with that instead of the, uh, instead of not. You know, I think I'm kind of okay if he... If he gets one more card out of this thing. It's not the end of the world. I'll take it slow. And sometimes I will slam that again. Nope. Okay. So I need to draw four cards at some point. I actually have nothing to do here. I pass. <laughs> Hold the weapon, I suppose. Hold the weapon. Are you soul firing me? You're thinking about it, and you're like, no, I can't do that. Interesting.
Really stretching to have plays, I see. Hmm. Oh, got the Jacklick thing going. I see. It was a tough decision because the overdraw occurred. All right. can always throw the coin away. But my precious coin... My precious! I have... Five response cards in my hand here. And to actually get through the auto armaments is going to take a lot of work. Double cast. Execute? That would kill his stuff. Execute might be right. Execute those two things? That makes me sound... Hmm, uh, maybe Warpath now. Yeah, Warpath. Uh, four health is the... Good break points. I guess I'll do this and not put it down to three health. Oh, look at this. Very good. The next major source of card draw is going to be the auto armaments, getting me a bunch of cards. The Lost Sophie. Out of time. And a lot of cards discarded. That will almost always get the kill mocks. I think I can assume that's in the hand. That is almost certainly a brawl. 10, 11, 14, 17 health on the board. Brawl, 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 brawl. I suppose. Village of the Fallen is really carrying me through the run. It's always like scary to have this big a hand when you have the chest in play. Or an acolyte in play, etc. That's kinda hard to punish, and it's kinda questionable and even if it's worth punishing. Alright, so two kill mocks in hand, they're around 29-29 right now. 23. Uh-oh. 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 Okay, panic. 
Um, let's see. Panic, 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 panic. I think I lose. I should have saved a brawl. Who would have expected that though? The only way to get out of this is to draw out of it. Do I have I do have a brawl in my deck, so. Let the pain speak to me. Yeah, that kills two of them. Not nearly enough. Um don't have enough mana to cast it again. And just to satisfy everyone's curiosity on why Bear Op doesn't work, there you go. It's because their text is a passive plus two per. It's naturally a 3 3. Oh, 10 wins! If I save the Brawl. But do I. No, I can't just. Save the brawl against all of the Killmox ancient reflections. That's ridiculous. Hmm. Did I miss my hero power? I did miss my hero power. I could have still top deck brawl. That was a misplay. I didn't uh, actually draw the brawl there. 